So it was shocking, to say the least, you know. 32 years old. They told me that I had, uh, like, walking pneumonia. Father of two. I've never, I've barely ever been sick in my life. A seemingly healthy young man. I was in probably the worst pain I've ever had in my life. Getting word from doctors, his life was in jeopardy. I've never spent a night in the hospital, you know, before all this happened. Right before Thanksgiving, Jared Russell fell ill. It would be a sickness that would alter his life forever. It was because my heart wasn't pumping like blood to my organs, so everything was like shutting down. Jared's diseased heart was failing and failing fast. His life expectancy wasn't measured in years or months, but weeks. These patients otherwise would have just plain died, more than likely. Jared's father and grandfather both died of congestive heart failure. It appeared Jared was next. I was I've been a vegetarian since I was 17. Uh, just tried to be very healthy, never smoked, tried to stay in shape. I felt like I was in pretty good shape. He figured leading a healthy lifestyle would keep him out of trouble, but genetics dictated otherwise. Literally, it was like one day I was, you know, thinking I'm just having pneumonia and gonna be out of the hospital, and then the next I'm having my heart removed in a, you know, a, a plastic one implanted in me. By taking his heart out, a team of doctors and nurses at VCU Medical Center saved his life. Jared is now waiting anxiously for a donor heart. Oh, they could be on a waiting list for six to eight months. <laughs> but during his time on the waiting list, Jared will be marching to another beat. The more I learned about it, the, the more I was curious about it. How you doing? How you doing, sir? Normally, patients waiting for a new heart survive tethered to a hulking 400-pound machine, <laughs> affectionately called Big Blue. You would see three or four nurses pushing it up and down the hall with a patient connected and everyone laughing and having a good time. Yeah, well, I tell you. A lifesaver for sure, but not very mobile. The FDA mandated these patients were not allowed outside the hospital. They were stuck here. Yes, sir. It was literally like being a dog tied to a tree with a nine-foot leash. But Jared's leash would not last long. It's completely and totally changed our approach to the heart transplant patient. Doctors at VCU approached Jared about gaining a little freedom. It was definitely a little apprehensive. It's called Freedom Driver, a 13-pound backpack about as big as a child's school bag. Inside, a revolutionary device that pumps Jared's artificial heart, replacing Big Blue. Today, we have the capability of sending these patients home and waiting for their transplant at home, carrying on a fairly normal life. VCU Medical Center is taking the lead with this new technology. Jared is one of a few people in the world wearing his heart, not on his sleeve, but in a bag. Sometimes when you think about it, you're like, oh, this machine's, you know, basically responsible for me staying alive. Like I went out to eat at a restaurant for the first time in two months the other day, and uh, just for a minute I just sat there and I was just like, this is, it's wild. Jared is now cherishing even the most mundane tasks. This could really, you know, just allow me freedom, you know, uh, to at least, uh, walking down the street with my family or breathing fresh air, things that you take for granted, um, you know, every day. And as for that constant noise he lives with round the clock, it's actually music to his ears. It takes me back to uh, falling asleep in my theater room in the basement with the washing machine on. That's what I got to think about. <laughs> Jared is making huge strides with freedom, but he is dreaming of the moment he can return it to the doctors. Every day is, I feel a little bit better, for sure. Just waiting to get, waiting to get a heart, I guess.